Hey, what's up guys? This is Scott from Titans of CNC and I got the brand new Walter Electronic Vision 400L from United Grinding. I'm super excited because it's a tool grinding machine, which means we're gonna make end mills, drills, step drills, step mills, and custom tooling. So anything that we wanna make out of solid carbide, this is the machine to do it. So not only can we do end mills and drills and all the different tooling that we see in the industry, we can do orthopedic screws and body parts. Now this machine is also capable of some five axis machining so that we can create organic surfaces. We're actually gonna make a human replacement knee on this machine. So if you guys didn't see, go ahead and check the video out when we got this machine, when we dropped it on the floor. Now it's all hooked up and ready to go. So let me show you some of the features and capabilities of this machine. The thing about tool making is you want accuracy and repeatability over and over and over again. How we accomplish that with this machine is with linear drives. In contrast to ball screws, the linear drives are magnetized, meaning there's no contact. They use very strong electromagnets to keep the table floating. It gives us accuracy and repeatability and super smooth finishes on our tooling. This machine's A-axis is a torque drive, which actually gives us the ability to machine while the part is spinning. This feature is critical if we want to preform carbide. In a typical tool machine, you cannot spin the A-axis fast enough to be able to form the tool, similar if you were going to be turning on a lathe. But this machine has that capability, and that A-axis can spin with power at 750 RPM. This machine is also equipped with a four pocket tool changer that's gonna give us the maximum of 12 wheels to be able to do all sorts of different contours and features on tools. So this is our automatic tool changer. I'm gonna open it up so you guys can take a look. This is known as a wheel pack. I have two different wheels on here. They're used for different operations. These wheel packs can actually hold up to three wheels a piece. So because I have four pockets, I can hold up to 12 wheels depending on the application. They may not always need 12 wheels, but I do have that capability if I need it. What's awesome about the tooling in this machine is it comes with this coolant manifold and these nozzles line up directly with this tooling. So as I'm doing wheel changes, I always have the right coolant in the right place all the time and I never have to make adjustments unless I need to, of course. So this guy just goes right in. Then the manifold, Whenever I do a tool change, the wheel and the manifold stay together even though they're separate parts. All right, so you can see the manifold and our flex hoses that are putting coolant directly on our wheel exactly where it needs to go. So we're using the Blazer HC10 grinding oil, which is specifically made for cutting carbide, and that's gonna help us create beautiful tools, accurate tools. What's critical of keeping our coolant clean and at temperature so that we can maintain that accuracy is the chiller and filter that we have in the back of the machine. So when we're cutting carbide, carbide will leave a very fine swarf that can find its way back in and ruin our cutting surfaces. So we wanna make sure that we're filtering that out and also keeping the temperature at the ambient temperature of our machine so we're not experiencing any thermal expansion on our tools or cutting wheels. Grinding oil is flammable. We have to make sure that our fire suppression system's ready to go. We got that all hooked up. If you didn't see the video with our Studer S41, we actually have some CCTV footage of a machine lighting up and then the fire suppression system kicking in and completely knocking it out. This machine is equipped with a thermal sensor and also this pull station. So in the event of a fire, we can put that out without damaging the machine. Along with the fire suppression system, we have an LNS Fox HE1000 mist extractor. It's, it's gonna pull all those particles out of the machine so you're not breathing any of it and you're not gonna start a fire. All right, so one of my favorite features of this machine is the LR Mate Fanuc robot. Because we're doing tooling and making tools, we need to be able to make those tools as quickly as possible so we can make money. All you have to do is tell it where the pallets are with all your material and where the chuck is in the machine and it takes care of the rest. There's no teach pennant. You don't have to mess with it. It's all good to go. I hope that got you guys excited for the, some of the capabilities of this machine because we're going to be grinding them. We're going to be showing you cool stuff. If you like it, make sure you like and subscribe. If you have questions, go ahead and drop them down below so we can start answering those for you. And we'll see you next time.